Oos Sensei here back with another video and my father just got his eighth degree black belt awarded to him and presented to him at the same test of for my fifth and with our other students as well. Guru Guy Chase, Mark Telegrali, Shihan Alima, and Master Okashi, my brother, were all there to present it to him. Super awesome show. I commented behind it. I put a nice little edit together for you. Enjoy. Oos. We're hosting it at Haver High School, high school I went to. Same high school Tommy went to as well. So we all run out. National anthem. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Start off with a little class, bring us through some combinations. So our students have already, we've already passed our test, now it's just our graduation ceremony. So we put on a show for our audience, kind of capping everything off. We had guest instructors. This is the coolest part. This is the first time I've experienced this. We had four masters here. First one was Master Alima. Then we had Mark Delagrati, Guru Guy Chase, who my father was talking about right now. High level, high level. I've talked about him before. And then on the end is my brother, um, Master Ocasio. Six degree black belt. So it's really cool for me to be able to get my fifth in front of them as well. So we're performing our different forms. So you, you might have seen this in my last video. So now we're just putting on a show. I'm not as tired. So my a little bit crisper and a little bit sharper on my technique. This bow form is very long. Very difficult to remember, but it's practice and hard work, you're good. So the first segment of our demonstration of our show is form. So we all come out and perform our forms. Other people are coming out as well, the kids, the other adults who are testing as well. My father performed because he's getting his eighth. So he's doing a demonstration as well. It's called control kicking. This is one of my favorite things to watch. He gets as close as he can when he kicks, so that he kicks right close to um, that's my stepmom there, uh, Shihan Kim Ocasio. Um, but that's always it's always a blast because he gets really close. This is that was Shihan Alima performing a Tai Chi form. This is my brother Master Ocasio performing one of our katas. Now we are dem I'm demonstrating some choreographed self defenses. So it's choreographed moves. We do a lot of this so you can develop skill. It's all skill-based training. This isn't exactly how you would approach it in real life, but you're developing the skill of catching the kick or defending the punch so that you're more efficient at the movement. Again, it's just it's just simulation. It's one of the more fun parts of the martial arts as well. At least I find. So it's all different ways to deal with the same strikes, kicks or punches. Oh, and congratulations to Michael Skadamakia. He is the instructor of our Plasau school. He was promoted from Joshu to Deshi, which is the one instructor that under Sensei. So he's Deshi. If you guys are OGs, you actually know that I started out Deshi when, when I met Tommy. Tommy knew me as Deshi first, and then I promoted to Sensei. Here's our demonstration team. This is another thing that I do. I lead our demo team for our school. So we perform outside demonstrations at fairs and so forth, other graduation ceremonies. So we put on a show at the end of our Black Belt show, of course. And there's the students from both schools, Hey Roy and Plastow School, and soon to be Merrimack, and they perform. We consider this the extreme martial arts, the XMA. So it's just the more fun aspect of martial arts. You do team-based forms, you choreograph stuff, and you put on a cool show. One of our students, Jory, performing nunchucks, the flashier stuff. Again, martial arts isn't all about just self-defense, kick and butt. It's a big part of it, but it's grown to something more. It's actually always been something more. The forms have always been a part of it. Very similar to dance, actually. Now, here's my comma form, long comma. So my father wanted me to finish with this form. One of our third degree forms. One of our longest forms in the system. 
Very high pace. This part is a freestyle section, so this is not a part of the form, but I'm allowed to do whatever I want, so I chose that. And back to the form now. If you don't remember her, you may, if you may have seen her before, Apex posted a picture a long time ago of her when she was a little dragon. She's been with me for like seven years. She got her first degree. Here's me getting my fifth degree. Man, that was awesome. I was sweating. I wasn't crying. <laughs> Really, really awesome experience. I actually wasn't supposed to unravel the belt yet. You can see my face. You're supposed to rub it in first. So I was getting a little antsy. So we always rub in the sweat as a metaphor towards you know hard work and dedication is how we achieve our ranks. Boom! There it is. And here, Guru Chase was testing Mark Delagradi here, the highest level Muay Thai instructor in the United States. He was testing him as a high level, highest level instructor in JKD and in Kali in the Filipino martial arts as well. So he was testing him because that is Guru Chase's highest ranking student, Mark Delagradi, actually in Boston as well. So then he was testing my father as well with instructor certifications. And this is how he presents the diplomas. Really, really cool to see this in person. Oh, and he's Coach Tang in the back taking pictures. Tang Fu! And this is for the Filipino martial arts. That was the Filipino Kali bow, and the one before that was the John Fanji Kundu Chinese way of bowing from Bruce Lee and um, JKD. And there's Master Al Lima, Shihan Lima, one of my father's oldest friends. They've been training together for, I think, 35 years. And that's my father's eighth degree. He rubs in the sweat too. Really, really cool to see this. I mean, just to see it, but to be a part of it and be able to test at the same time and graduate at the same time. I have my brother there, I have Rima there, I have Roddy there, which is awesome. First time meeting him, and having Guru there too as well. Very special. Guru actually performed, but we didn't get that on my on my camera. So you be, I'll be getting that soon, and you get a chance to see that. And that's the end of our show. Really, really, really awesome. I look forward to these every year, but this one's gonna be a special one that I'll never forget. Now on to the next one. I gotta wait six years until my next degree. And my father actually should have got his eighth, but he wanted to do the ceremony correctly and get the proper testing and so forth all together. So he should have got his eighth three or four years ago. So he'll get his ninth in about like six years. Oh, maybe same time as me actually, now that I think about it. Oh, nice. It's got me excited. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Oos. Yeah, I made it with the team. Yeah.